Hey guys, welcome back to Duke Clark, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use Shadow Play on the new GeForce Experience. So, as you can see, GeForce Experience they actually updated their software, so Shadow Play is a bit different, and the settings are a bit different. So, I'm going to be showing you how to use it. So, let's get started. First, if you want to use Shadow Play to record your gameplays, it's this button right here. So, it's going to say Share Your Greatest Gaming Moments. So you just want to click on that and now shadow play will pop up. This is the new layout right here. So let's go to settings and we're going to go through all of this and what it does. Let's start with connect. Connect is where you log in onto your, you know, your Twitch, your YouTube, your Google account, and you can actually upload it to, you know, YouTube or Twitch right away after your recording and overlays overlays is um, very simple it's the indicator for when your screen is recording or your fps if you want to show your fps during recording keyboard shortcuts keyboard shortcuts you guys probably know what this is it's just a key function if you want to set it up so you can have a shortcut for your recording or your screenshots Recordings. This is where you save your recordings after you're done recording. So I actually saved it onto my desktop. And to do that, you just click this button right here. And yours will probably say something different, but let's just go right to C drive right here. So I click on users, admin, and I click on desktop. And I made a folder on my desktop. It's called screen game recording. And I just save all my recordings in here. Now for broadcast. Broadcast is if you're actually broadcasting, you can actually use a custom overlay when you're recording. So if you have an overlay, you can just add it onto here so you can upload it to Twitch or onto YouTube. Gallery, this is where your screenshots will be saved to. It can be saved onto your desktop or it can be uploaded right onto Google Photos right away. Notifications, this is somewhat not really important because if you guys like notifications, you can just turn them all on. But it tells you when your screen is recording, a pop-up will pop up right here. And it's going to say, your screen is now recording. Your screen is now not recording. So I don't like notifications, so I just actually turned that off, all of it. And for privacy control, privacy control is where you want to record your desktop, you would turn it on. But if you don't want your shadow play to record your desktop, only your gameplay, you would just say no and turn it off and it won't let you. So we're done with the settings. Now let's go to the mic. The microphone right here, you can change to push to talk always on or off. So I always leave it mine on, always on. And to change the mic, where it's coming from you can choose your recording device so i have my yeti mic right here so i always use that and for the camera the camera will only work when you're broadcasting not when you're recording so when you're broadcasting live onto you know twitch or something it will let you use your camera and for your gallery your gallery is where you've recorded your gameplay it'll be saved onto here so you can actually just go back and look at it or go back onto your desktop and go into the folder for the recording if you go on to customize you can change your quality you can change it to low median or custom i just pick high because i have a pretty good computer and i just leave it at 60 frames at 50 um, megabytes per second for the bit rate so it looks pretty good so that's it guys, that's how you use GeForce Experience Shadow Play on the new GeForce Experience software. Thanks for watching, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Please check out my channel, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>